you've actually bought a FAF power line machine like this one here. So we're going to go through some of the operating features of the machine so that you know how to use it and what to do with it. So just a quick explanation. You've got a switch down here which turns the actual light off on the work area. And you can also adjust by pressing this little button over here the amount of power that the light actually gives off. There's also a switch up here, so when you turn the machine off, the actual light still stays on. So you either turn it off from here or just on this switch under here, and that turns the actual light off on the machine afterwards. So it's handy if you want to do some work on the machine, but you still want to have the light on so that you don't end up sewing your fingers by accident or yeah, running something into yourself. So starting up at the machine, there's one thing that I'll show you actually, we'll start it up, I'll turn it off again. So if you're for some reason starting the machine up and you've got your foot on the pedal and you're leaning on it and you start the machine up, you're automatically going to get an error message which is warning 3104. When you get that it means take your foot off the pedal so the machine can actually start. So the machine's basically stopping you from operating the unit. On this machine we've got two guides, a left and a right guide for the customer who's receiving the machine. So we have automatic backstitch set up at the moment. We'll just give this a run. Now, if you don't want to do the automatic backstitch, now you'll, you'll see that the tail looks fairly long, but in actual fact, what's happened is the machine's done a bit of a backflip and it's gone up so that the needle's never touching underneath the actual foot. So the actual, if the needle was stopping in the correct position, which is up here, um, the thread would be shorter, but you would end up getting caught on the fabric with that actual needle. Now, if you don't want to run the backstitch on it, so you come up to our panel, uh, this is the backstitch function here, so I can turn that totally off now and so the machine just actually does a normal stitch Without doing the backstitch if you want to do half a backstitch you press it once so three uh, That's the start of the, the sewing and this is the end of the sewing. You don't have to have both of them on And of course, if you want to do that double backstitch, you press it again and you're on full back automatic backstitch. Now also you've got a manual backstitch here and here. Okay. So your stitch adjustment is actually here on the machine. On this version, it goes up to the nine millimeter stitch mark. Um, to actually make the stitch go higher, you turn clockwise and the dial will actually go towards the top like that. So you've got a bigger stitch. And again, you just bring it back to whatever your normal sewing area is going to be. Usually everyone's around about six. Okay, now we're going to do the bobbin winding. So the bobbin winding is quite unique. We'll take this one off. So when you take your full bobbin off, you just clip it in behind that little thing. We'll grab a new bobbin out of the drawer. Stick that onto there, click it in, then just put that on there. There's no need to wind it on or anything like that. It'll automatically wind on on its own. And that saves a lot of thread wastage. And then it'll automatically, of course, turn itself off. If you're going to go over a heavy bump, let's go over a heavy bump. 
So we've got up here, the outer ring is your normal sewing walking foot height. So you can run it at two, three or whatever. Uh, the inner ring, if you see here, actually has other numbers on it. And so at the moment it's set at seven. So if you have a look, when we press this button here, the foot lift, you'll see that the foot actually lifts up and down. So if I'm sewing, and I come up to this point, I can either press that button there to make it lift to climb over the top, or as I'm sewing, uh, we'll do that actually, go over, and then once you're over, you just click that button. Now to oil the machine, you've got that level here, you oil in through those holes at the top, that will fill, just fill it up right up to the top basically, and that will lubricate the machine where it needs to. Um, I'll just go and tilt this over. Oh. So generally everything's been checked before delivery, um, there's no need to worry about the settings. Uh, knife settings are all being set, but occasionally give everything a bit of a clean out. It's easy to get to once you tilt it back. Um, and that's your safety clutch. So you're going to find that maybe if you jam the thread, you break a needle or something, that safety clutch is going to disengage. So then what happens is you've got uh, that little hole there, which you basically put something into and turn your hand wheel until you feel it actually click in it's going to be quite an aggressive click and that'll lock and then your machine's back in timing again so that's your safety clutch there of course if you forget all these things you know what my number is you just give me a call or ring us here in the workshop and someone will of course give you the information you need to have so that's it for the moment thank you very much for your purchase and i know you'll be back see ya